At seven, he says, I rested. If I needed it, you need it. He says, some are at the point to have their strength renewed, but are getting anxious. Tell them to stay in their abiding position. There, my angels will come to them. There, the ravens will find them. Tell them it's my will, it is my will. I say to you, set your affections on things that are above, where Christ dwells, where I dwell. Some of that anxiety is caused by not resting and having misplaced affections. Now listen to this. I know the plans I have for you, plans to make you and not break you. Watch the enemy at your gate that is drawing you into anxiety. The enemy at Jacob's door made him work for more seven years. His completion was extended for more seven years. Amen. We know that portion of scripture. Jacob agrees with, 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 with Laban to work for seven years to have Rachel. Then at seven years, he was, he was given Leah instead. Amen. So there was an enemy at that door. So because there was that enemy, because of that enemy, he had to work for more seven years to have his desire. Amen. So he says that watch for that enemy who is at your door. And he says, when it was revealed to Daniel that 70 was come, he sought me. He did not allow anxiety to overtake him and take over. Then he says, at seven, the angel appeared to Gideon and reminded him of what he had in the inside of him. We know that story. Amen. After the, the children of Israel had sinned, Judges chapter 6. Amen. They went into captivity for seven years. The Bible says that at seven, they cried unto the Lord, and the Lord sent a prophet. Then after the Lord sent an angel, which angel was God himself. Amen. So here he says that at seven the angel appeared to Gideon and reminded him of what he had in the inside of him. Amen. Which is the presence. Hallelujah. The Lord himself came down and spoke and ignited the valor in the inside of Gideon. Are we together? He prophesied purpose, he prophesied destiny, he prophesied his identity, and he immediately picked up the mantle. Amen. When the Lord appeared to Gideon, he told him that you are a mighty man of valor. So he prophesied what was in the inside of him. He prophesied the destiny in the inside of him. Amen. And there Gideon awakened. Hallelujah. He's saying that I'm releasing seven to counter the seven and seventy. I'm releasing my seven spirits. I'm releasing to you my wisdom, my revelation, my counsel, my fear, my knowledge, my understanding, and my spirit. Amen. And he's saying that I'm releasing seven which are his seven spirits to counter the seven and the seventy i'm not confusing anyone here am i amen then he says this is not the time this is the time to cry out the answer is lingering between heaven and you amen He's saying that I'm shaking the comforts. I'm not for mixture. I didn't call you to mix. Then he says the shaking is to shake off what you have mixed with. So that my will remains. He, he says that you have completed. And he wants you to pick up his wrist from this place. Go and rest 
in his presence. He's saying that if he rested, how about you? You also need to rest. We rest in God's presence. I'm not talking about going to enter your bed and you cover your head and sleep. I'm talking about waiting on the Lord. A position of wait is a position of resting. Amen. And God, if he talks about his men in scripture, he's talked about Gideon. If I'm to mention a few things about Gideon, that portion you see that Gideon was hiding food away from the enemy. Some of us are afraid of the enemy. You're hiding your stuff away from the enemy. <clears throat> Amen. Just because you do not know who you are in the Lord. The enemy has kicked you from all corners to the extent that now you fear him. The Bible is saying, and the Lord is saying that you are a mighty man. I've put might in the inside of you. And as you start, as you close one season and start another, he says, move in the identity that I've put in the inside of you. Which identity is might? Which identity is valor? Amen. Those words are provoking. And we need to think about them more and more. I repeat, prophetically, there is something ending today. And there is something beginning. Now, you who have their ears and eyes open, you can start praying into that direction. Tell God that I see the new thing. Because it says that, don't you see it? Amen. Your prayer should be, I see the new thing. I might not be understanding it, but I can see it. Amen. I can see the doors. I hear the sound of rain. Amen. Because we all hear the sound of rain. There are promises that God has given each one of us. Amen. That is the sound of rain. Hallelujah. And he's saying that if you've heard it, do not give up yet. Let the valor in you be ignited for you to move in the destiny and identity that I've called you to walk in. Amen. What are you? Are you the wheat or you are the husk? But then the Lord says, the husk I will burn. The husk I will burn. But the wheat, who are my own, I am calling them to come up to the mountain. Just like I called Moses to come and fellowship with me on my mountain. I am calling up my own. For if you can only come and fellowship with me on the mountain, you will begin to behold the new that I'm already releasing in your time. Habakkuk cried, cried out to the Lord, Oh God, we have heard of the things that I've been doing in the past. We have heard of the miracles. We have heard of your move. We have heard of the wonders and the goodness that you've been doing in the past. But Habakkuk cried out, Oh God, remember us and do it in our time. Do it in our day. The Lord is saying, If you choose to come up on the mountain, I will do it in your time. If you choose to come up on the mountain, I will do it in your days. Because this is the time that I am separating my own to sanctify them and dress them with righteousness and holiness and then commence on them into the advancement of my kingdom says the Lord Almighty for this is your time my child come up come up come up come up and fellowship with me says the Lord it is time to advance it is time to move forward it is time to take over the territories that belongs to my kingdom says the Lord Almighty oh As I'm advancing you, the voice of the enemy is around the corner. But my child, watch, watch, watch and be alert. Because as I lift you up, the enemy is desiring to bring you down. At the, at the, the toppest point of your celebration, the enemy will bring in discouragement. At your triumph, the enemy will want to bring defeat. 
and he says my child watch and watch and watch come up here come up here because from my view you have the right perspective and the right sight of the schemes of the enemy that is planning against you my child the Lord is saying some of you, you have been fellowshipping with your problems, you have been fellowshipping with your issues, you have been fellowshipping with being backbiting, you have been fellowshipping in things that are actually drawing you away from my presence, says the Lord. But he's saying, my child, come up here and begin to have a deep communion with me, begin to fellowship with me, begin to show yourself in purity and righteousness. That is the secret of advancement in my kingdom, says the Lord Almighty. I am not going to inhabit, I am not going to dwell amidst corruption, I am not going to dwell amidst iniquity, I am not going to dwell amidst unrighteousness, but I am looking for a pure and righteous and holy vessel through whom I can demonstrate myself unto the nations of the world, says the Lord Almighty. Now come up, come up and behold my glory and receive my wisdom and advance forward in revelation and I will release understanding about the desires of your heart that you have been crying for many years oh God for now is the time of completion I believe the Lord is just confirming the word Simon has just released now is the time of completion I am bringing you into completion in order to finish up the race that you have been running in order to begin a new race that I am commissioning you to for I delight in purity I delight in righteousness for I am searching for clean lips to declare my oracle unto the nations Isaiah appeared before me says the Lord and when I showed myself unto Isaiah Isaiah said woe unto me for I am a wicked man with unclean lips living amidst unclean people but then I began to purify Isaiah I burnt his lips with a coal and I made him pure again and when I cried whom shall I send to bring my people back to me Isaiah had the enthusiasm to say here I am send me O Lord the sacred is there was purity there was purity there was purity in the lips of Isaiah the Lord is looking for pure lips the Lord is searching for pure lips because he is entrusting the all For I am a pure God. I am a holy God. And I will never compromise my holiness. I will never stoop low in my holiness. For the standards of my holiness are better than they are yea and amen. Desire purity. Launch deeper into the deep. Launch deeper into the deep. Prepare your nets. Prepare your nets and launch them deeper into the deep. For you are about to catch the harvest. You are about to catch the harvest. But listen, my child. Prepare your nets. Prepare your nets. And let your nets be strong enough that they will never be torn by the weight of the harvest. Let your nets be strong enough. Prepare your nets. For the time of harvest has come. And that is why I am separating you. And that is why I am completing the past season. And that is why I am calling you up to the mountain. And 